Hi everyone. Hi Anahata Yoga community. I miss you all so much and I'm glad that I have the opportunity and the ability to be able to record for you guys today's class, Restorative Yoga and Sound Healing for my home studio. I miss seeing all of you so much and for those of you that are newly joining our studio via online first, welcome, welcome. Happy to be here with all of you guys. So for restorative yoga, it's really important that we set up in a really comfortable way for each posture. And if at any point something doesn't feel good, you can always come out of it. You can always readjust. So take some time to gather some props. You'll want about four towels. If you don't have yoga blankets, a pillow, you can use a face towel in place of an eye pillow. And if you have it, Sofa pillows, especially for those of you that are uncomfortable lying flat on your back, this can be really helpful for supporting the spine at more of a lifted angle and can be really nice to put underneath the knees for some of the positions that we'll be taking. And you can also turn on some music for yourself. I have my rose water here, so I like to miss the space before I start. So if you like essential oils, go ahead and grab those oils, grab your water, maybe turn down the lights turn off your cell phone um, ringer or any distractions that you're able to turn off or to kind of put away for now. Go ahead and do that. As you're setting yourself up, I want to also mention that in the description of this video, there is a link for the Save a Project. It's a nonprofit and all donations help the community, help to support teachers and staff right now as well. So if you're able to donate, that's wonderful. And if you're not right now, that's okay. It's most important that you're doing what's best for yourself at this moment. And as we strengthen ourselves and as we balance and root ourselves, then we're also able to show up for other people. And that can be in various capacities. So we are going to start laying down. Now what I'll recommend is grabbing one of your towels or blankets or your pillow, placing that at the back end of your mat for your head. Or you can grab a towel or blanket, roll it up for the neck, have your eye pillow nearby. And then you can use your sofa cushions for underneath the knees. And if you need to, instead of lying flat on your back, you can angle these cushions, creating a support this way. So you'll notice here, I need a little bit more for my head, All right? So you're either doing this or you're lying flat on your back. Maybe the pillow underneath the knees. And if you're lying flat on your back, the support underneath your head. Get really comfortable. Palms facing up. You can put your sandbag if you do have one nearby or a blanket or towel across the hips or cover up in one. Check in if there's any other adjustments you need to make. You can put on your eye pillow. Saddle in. Restorative yoga is all about giving ourselves the opportunity to restore, to recharge, to rest. So there's no active stretching when we're in these poses. We want to <clears throat> be able to completely relax. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Another deep breath in. Let it go. Settle into the space that you're in. <clears throat> Taking a moment to notice if there's any distractions and if they're ongoing, if they show up randomly, just do your best to allow them to fall to the background. Settle into your body. If 
Feel all the areas of the body supported by the earth, by the props, soft in the skin. Take a moment to acknowledge yourself that you're here, that you showed up for your practice. And energetically acknowledge your fellow yogis, your anahata community, your family, your friends, all the communities you're a part of, and humanity. Begin to deepen your breath and through the connection of the breath, know that you're not alone. Feel how your breath reminds you of your connection to yourself, to each other. Even if right now we're at a distance, it's okay. Breathe. And feel the belly rise and fall as you breathe. Maybe deepen the breath as you inhale, the belly expands, then the ribs and the chest. And release from the chest all the way down. With every breath settling a little bit more. You can remain just like this, or you can place one hand on the belly, one hand at heart center. And we'll do three rounds of OM. You can join, hum, or just listen. Let's first inhale together. Let it go. And inhale. Oh. Oh. can remain closed, releasing the arms by your sides, palms up. Make any other gentle movements or adjustments so you can further settle into the shape. And I'm going to read for all of you a visualization. It's from the Integrative Amrit Method of Yoga Nidra. And all you have to do for this visualization is just listen and imagine, feel it. Feel yourself now in a place that you like to be, a place where you feel peaceful and calm, relaxed and quiet. No concerns about the future or the past. Simply an overwhelming experience of the rightness of things. Perhaps sitting on a beach, watching waves meet the shore. The scent of salt air. The sound of seagulls. Or a mossy green forest with tall trees. 
the smell of wild flowers, a trickling stream. Trust whatever image arises in your awareness. And in this place, choose a comfortable spot to sit or lie down. Perhaps a hollow in the sand that holds your shape or a soft bed of moss. Let go into it. Surrender the weight of your body. Completely supported. No effort or need to hold yourself up. Breathe in the scent, the sight, the sounds of this place. And let the whole experience permeate your entire being. Absorbed into each and every cell with each breath in. And each breath out. Feeling through bodily sensations what it is to be safe and at peace. Surrounded. Protected in this place where you can deeply rest. Feel how restful and calm you are. Feeling more content. Relaxed. More grounded. and rest here in this place. And know that you can return to your safe place at any time that you want or need to. As you remain in the visualization, you can keep the legs extended or bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop open, and if needed, support the outer edges of your legs, towels, blankets, or pillows. If you had shifted or moved, enjoy a side breath. And let go.
Awareness returns to the breath. Into the body. If you wish to remain in this pose, you can stay exactly as you are. If you want to transition into child's pose, we start by wiggling toes and fingers, stretching the legs out, opening and closing the hands, point and flex the feet. Maybe rock the head side to side. Full body stretch with a sigh or yawn. Bend the knees, feet to the pillow, to the blanket, or to the floor. Rock the legs side to side, or hug the knees into the chest and rock the body side to side. So keeping the eyes closed or soft gaze, slowly roll over to your comfortable side in the fetal position. Take care to support your head. Deep in the breath. And when you feel ready, the top hand presses into the floor in front of you and inhale to slowly bring yourself up and let the breath go. Transitioning to restorative child's pose. Now you can have a folded um, blanket or towel in front of you or off to the side here on your mat depending on how you're orientated and you can move the other props off to the side for a moment so the first option is simply it's not always simple but the first option is big toes together knees wide hips to heels and forehead needs to touch down to something another option is to place support between your hips and heels or behind the knees forehead to the floor or to support. Now, depending on whether or not you have big pillows, another option that you can do is put pillows in front of you, maybe stacking them up and resting on the pillow, resting onto one ear. Now, if this bend in the knees is not available to you with your body, you can do a different pose right now in its place with a folded blanket or a blanket roll or towel. And you want that to go at the hip crease, feeling the thigh bones being pressed up, stacking your hands or your forearms, creating a pillow for your forehead or cactus arms, palms down, resting onto one of your ears. You can also put a blanket underneath the tops of the ankles. So find your comfortable shape, settle in. Take a deep breath, let it go. Relax the body, relax at the heart space, feel the earth holding you, supporting you. Release control. Let the breath come and go on its own. Let go.
If you're currently resting on one ear, now is a good time to turn your head to switch ears. If you're on your forehead, stay as you are, if you can. If you're still laying on your back, you can stay where you are if you wish. If you're in child's pose or belly down, return your awareness to the breath first. Deep in the breath. Sigh if you need to. When you feel ready, the hands press into the floor and you'll inhale to bring yourself up. You can move the props off to the side, come into table, wrist under shoulders, fingers wide, knees under hips, toes can be untucked or tucked under. 
If it's too much pressure on the wrist, especially if you're on a soft surface, walk the hands forward a little bit. Cat cows moving from the tailbone. Inhale, tailbone up, belly drops, heart gaze forward. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone round the spine, chin to chest. If there's any other stretches you'd like to take instead, go ahead and take them. If down dog is in your practice, hip release, you can stretch seated. About five more breaths. And find your way into your seat. We're going to do seated wide-legged forward fold. I recommend grabbing something to sit on. And then you'll grab support for underneath the knees, especially if you're sitting up higher, or if your low back is talking, or if you have tight hamstrings. And then using your hands to move the buttocks out from underneath you. This will help to support your posture sitting up tall. Point and flex the feet a few times. And then toes pointing up. If this is enough for your body, stay here. If it doesn't feel good to have the legs open like this, you can always have the legs out in front of you with support under the knees. Either is fine. Now, if you're choosing to fold forward, we want to feel the pelvis tilt forward slightly so the weight is more in the front end of the sitting bones. Hands go to the floor and then walking yourself forward to your safety stop and resting here. Now, if you have a pillow that you kind of want to hug that has a little bit of resistance, you can lean into that pillow if it helps to hold you. Remember, restorative yoga, we're not trying to actively stretch. So I'll be here for about two to three minutes. If neither of those two options are available, maybe the soles of the feet together and knees drop open sitting just like this. Deep breathing. I'm here with you. We're in this together. See if you can listen to your breath come and go. Relax and soften the skin, the muscles. About eight to ten more breaths. Just breathe, I'll count it for us. Just breathe and be. Wherever you're at, take a deep breath in. Let it go. Slowly walk yourself up. Release that breath. Hands go underneath the knees, helping bend the knees, feet to the floor, wider than hips. Lean back on the hands, sit tall. And one-legged windshield wipers, dropping one knee in at a time. 
there's any other stretches you'd like to take, you can take them now, about three more breaths. Okay, now from here, you'll need to have a folded blanket or towel that looks something like this. You can always change the height, you could always do less or more. And if you find that you need support here, we're going into supported bridge. You can do a really slight roll for the neck. Ideally, if it's possible, you want to let your head just come down to the floor. Okay. And for those of you that know supported bridge and plan to extend your legs out, you can also stack pillows for your legs in a little bit for stretching them out okay so from here laying down take a moment hug the knees into the chest like any other movements that your body's calling out for what helps you to rejuvenate restore release tension and gripping When you feel ready, the knees are bent, feet to the floor, grab your folded blanket or towel, press down through the feet, hips go up, and the support goes underneath your hips. So you want to feel the hip supported, the sacrum, the triangular bone between the hips supported. And then you can stay like this, or you can extend the legs out, and you might have to readjust how your pillows fall if you need to get up. Do so by first moving the support from the hips. And some of you might choose to not use the pillows there at all. Just make sure that your knees are supported. Arms by your sides, palms up. Try to refrain from moving the head side to side as there is more pressure going down through the neck. I just caught myself doing it a second ago. So try not to if you can. Take a deep breath in, close the eyes, let the breath go. You can put on your eye pillow, your eye towel, another deep breath in, let it go. And rest here. Let go.
awareness. Awareness returns to the breath. To the body. If you're in restorative bridge, you'll slowly bend the knees, feet to the floor if you're not already there. Press down through the feet, float the hips up and move the hip support out from under you and then slowly lower the hips to the floor. If you're still lying on your back from the previous pose, you can stay there still if you'd like. Otherwise, you can hug the knees into the chest or take a few windshield wipers, rocking the legs or the body side to side. Move and stretch, sigh and yawn. And from there, rolling onto your comfortable side. Now I do want to mention we're going to Shavasana. So if you want to just lie flat on your back and let go now, go ahead. If you want to make some comfort adjustments, follow along. You'll press yourself up. You can grab pillows, blankets, or roll towels for underneath the knees. And then taking one of your blankets or towels and folding it up so it looks something like this. Place that lengthwise on your mat. This will be for your back. And then you can grab another towel. This will be for the head. Okay, you can also use your pillow here depending on how that feels on your neck. Draping the legs over the support. Buttocks is on the floor. And then the rest of the back is on the towel. You can always build that up if you need to, stacking two or three. Just make sure buttock stays on the floor. Your eye pillow, cover up in a blanket, a towel, maybe your sandbag or weighted blanket or fold a towel across the hips. Make yourself really comfortable. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Another deep breath in. Let it go. before we fully drop into Shavasana, for those of you still following along, if you've already dropped, that's okay. You're going to take your thumbs, let them go into the palms, wrap your fingers loosely around the thumbs, Adi Mudra. This can help with calming. And just let the arms rest by your sides. So we're gonna be here in this mudra for about a minute Letting the breath move steadily and with ease. Keep breathing, conscious of your breath. Few more breaths here. You can keep the mudra, the hand position if you'd like, or traditionally taking shavasana, releasing all effort. Notice what you need. Let's sigh to fully let go.
returns to the coming and going of the breath. To the body. See if you can feel the whole body breathing. Keeping the eyes closed, enjoy a slow awakening. Toes and fingers, feet and hands, gentle movements. Maybe a full body stretch. Windshield wipers or hug the knees into the chest. Slowly waking the body up, deepening the breath. You can slowly roll over to your comfortable side, resting in the fetal position, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Take care to support your head. And breathe. The breath, your connection to yourself, to each other, to your communities, to the world. Breathe. If you need to stay here longer, slowly press your, or you can stay or slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. And bring the hands together at heart center. And with gratitude, we'll close with a single ohm. Receive your breath. Bowing head to heart in honor of each other, ourselves, and this practice. Thank you again for showing up for yourself for each other, even right now at a distance. You're supported. May you have the time, continue to give yourself the time, the opportunity to breathe. Remember that connection. It's my honor from my heart to yours. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Love to you all. Namaste.